Hello my friend, happy to see you here. Really interesting problem today. We have 2 to the x equal to 3 to the x. And on the first side there is no roots right here because this is kind of weird problem. 2 to the x equal to 3 to the x. What about roots right here? But right here we will have root and I'm going to show you this one. But before solving this, I want to ask you to leave a like, write any comment. I really appreciate it and it helps me a lot. It is not hard to you of course. I will be really appreciate for, for all support. Thank you for your support. Okay, 2 to the x equal to 3 to the x. Let's try to solve it, because this is kind of weird problem. But if we take a log on both sides, we have log. But what base? Let's take base of 2. So log base of 2, right here, 2 to the x. And right here we have log base of 2 and 3 to the x. Yeah, so we just change nothing, just take log on both sides. The same log, so change nothing. And right now, if we have a a power right here exponent so if you know a little bit about logarithm this goes right here so this is the main log property so we have x times logarithm 2 base of 2 equal to x log 3 base of 2 yeah so we just use log property we just take log property right here but first of all I want to mention that log 2 base of 2 equal to 1 so we need to know it log a base of a equal to 1 doesn't matter of this of this a 2 3 4 doesn't matter same number equal to 1 so we will have x equal to x times logarithm 3 base of 2 okay so we just do this do this step and right now it's really good to see that x and x right here will have the same so we need it on there on the one side on the left or on the right and most students do this on the left so let's bring this on the left hand side so we have x minus x times log 3 base of 2 equal to equal to 0. And right now, if you look closely to this, we have x and we have x. So we can easily factor this x. So we have x and in parentheses what we have? Right here 1 and right here minus this log. So log 3 base of 2 equal to 0. And finally, as you can see, we can easily say that right here we'll have root. First of all, we have a product, so this parenthesis equal to zero, or this parenthesis equal to zero. But if you look to this parenthesis, this is not equal to zero, because this is not equal to one, so this parenthesis is not equal to zero, this is like a constant for us. But x equal to zero, this is the rule, this is the rule that we need right here. So x equal to zero, this is our, our root. And let's, let's check this rule. And if it's, it's absolutely correct, because two to the zero equal to 3 to the 0, which is say that 1 equal to 1, which is absolutely correct. This is our answer. This is my approach. Of course, maybe you, you can find another approach. It will be really interesting to read it. This is my approach and I want to show it to you. Thank you so much for watching, for your support. I really appreciate it and it helps me a lot. It inspires me a lot to make a new content every day. Thank you and have a great day.